Hey, what's up guys and girls, this is Midori, and I'm back with another episode of Draw Midori. What's up, what's up guys and girls, this is Midori, and I'm finally back with another episode of Draw Midori. Now, as you can see, today I will be working with Ori, and his new game, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, just came out about a week ago, and I really love the artwork of this particular um, franchise in terms of the style. Everything looks like sort of like this living painting in terms of how it's designed, almost like watercolor in motion. And I really like the promotional art, so pretty much I'm going to try to recreate that artwork um, in copy markers. Now, the stage where I'm in now, I'm pretty much doing the, the pencil outline um, I kind of went a little bit too heavy with the pencil outline because I'm pretty much using like very dark like a F and two B's um, for the sketching but I ran out my H pencils um, which are pretty much a lot lighter um, so I have to use my darker pencils to do the uh, sketching I usually stay light um, so that's why you see that there's some smudging going on um, um, with the pencils because I'm trying to erase some of the uh, the artwork and by doing so I accidentally smudged some of the artwork but later on I'll fix it the stage where I'm in now I'm pretty much doing the first pass of the outlining of the artwork so I'm paying attention to line weight uh, this drawing is going to be you know this drawing is going to have a lot of uh, coloring and you know light source so I don't want to go too heavy yet in the inking. Um, I'm going to use that for last. This is just the first pass, the outline, um, you know, the really light line weight. And then I'm going to come back heavy afterwards. Now here I'm starting off the, the, the coloring of Ori. Now the coloring of Ori is, is kind of a challenge because he's technically white. But at the same time, since he's white, um, his skin, the surface of his skin reflects and absorbs um, a lot of color. Um, so that's why even though he's white, you know, because so much reflection and bounce light that's going around um, because of the environment, he's going to look a little bit more tinted blue, a little bit of um, hot pink is going to be on the, be in there, neon pink, um, you know, hot purple, things like that. The same thing. Uh, the same principle applies to the owl. Um, um, the other character that's in the game is the same thing because the environment is very rich in terms of the coloring um, in the background. So you, you have to really try to, you know, represent that um, in this particular drawing. So, you know, um, where I'm at now um, with this stage, I'm pretty much going from light to dark not dark to light but light to dark um, and all the colors that's in between that gradation if that makes sense so you, you know um, like if the owl was purple or, you know or dark blue um, because of the environment you're gonna see a lot more colors than just those two colors um, because of the light that's bouncing inside um, of the surface of the owl and bouncing back out um, you're going to see different you know gradations different shadings um, of the color now guys um, this portion of the video I will go into a little backstory of Ori Ori is a spirit garden who becomes separated from their biological and adapted family Ori is trusted into a journey to save the force of Nimbil from a dangerous decay spurned throughout the land. Ori is a small white creature with a similar stance to a human or a bunny and has a cat-like tail and large black eyes with white pupils. They have two short horns like tufts on top of their head and underneath them there are larger ears which droop when Ori is unhappy or weak. Ori's feet has a small white hooves as seen in a 3D model sheet. Their name is of Hebrew origin, literally meaning light or my light. Ori's nature is largely up to the player, but they do have some distinct personality traits. 
Throughout the prologue sequence, it is seen that Ori's personality is akin to that of a young child, being very innocent and dependent on their caregiver. But as the story goes on, Ori's character shows a massive amount of determination, even in the face of death itself. Ori never once gives up hope. Ori is also very forgiving and kind-hearted, willing to help those who have entered the darkness. Okay guys, that is pretty much the backstory on Ori. Also, fun fact about Ori, um, there was a little bit of controversy in terms of uh, if Ori is a girl or a boy. He actually is neither. According to the developer, um, they leave it ambiguous in terms of what his gender is. He's pretty much like gender fluid. Is who he wants or who she who you want him or her to be actually so he's pretty much genderless and as you can see this part of the drawing um i'm pretty much 95 percent done um i got all the coloring the overall coloring done and now i'm just going to go in and do a little bit more detail uh where um needs be so in this process i usually use a whiteout pen and do a lot of the highlighting um, some of the effects um, you know anywhere where i feel like there's a rim light or sort of like a reflection on any of the surfaces of the uh, characters some of the stars in the background things like that i'm doing here then i use a color pencil to do a little bit more detail and this particular part, I'm just doing the final black levels uh, of the drawings. Also guys, this drawing is coming to an end. Remember that to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do a new drawing each week. All right, and guys and girls, this drawing is pretty much at the end. I really appreciate you guys for joining me. I will have more joins coming later this week or next week. Checking guys and girls later. Midori out.